tell you guys are going to ask me a lot of questions, but I'm going to ask you guys one. How in the hell is Kawaja out? <laughs> I mean, what, what am I missing out on? Has anyone got any reason for even being out? I haven't got glasses, but I'm, I'm prepared to lend them. I'm prepared to lend my glasses. Goodness gracious me. What did you think when you were watching it? I'll tell you what I did. I won't say what my wife said. I said, I'm coming to bed to read a book. I am not watching one more piece of this that doesn't, that is so unprofessional and can put a boy out like that who's fighting for his career, yeah. along with a few other bits and pieces. <laughs> I reckon they heard me down the street. You cannot, po well, mind you, I joined in with everyone else and the whole, whole neighbourhood went up. I mean, how in the hell can a bloke like that be out? Yeah, and I reckon I could be 90 and my eyes fading and it'd still be better. <laughs> Goodness gracious me. Anyway, there's probably other, there's probably more important things on earth, but, and there are, but it's pretty dear to us, Test Cricket, isn't it? Anyway, away we go. Well, we've got some good form. Uh, we've had to fight for each victory. There's no question about that. That's, we haven't been able to go out there and crunch sides, but we've, we've done enough to beat some sides in and around us and or have threatened us. We've won on the road. We've won in the bogey ground, which is Eddie had, so that's now put to bed. We've won against opponents that have been, what is it, 18 out of 20 and 8 out of 10. So that's, again, a few things that we've been able to put to bed. Uh, our reserves are winning, and there's a good fielder in the club. That's irrelevant in many respects that they are in the eight. It's just simply that we, yes, we are playing a top eight side. We're probably playing a side that's fighting for fourth for in the top four, and they think they can get there. So, uh, if a side thinks they can get there, and the way they are coached and the way they play, which I admire, I really I'm defensively minded, and I think they do it as well as anyone. Um, it's a great test. And in this room an hour ago, we spoke about that test. We spoke about the challenge of, not that we haven't, we don't sit in here and go, we've, we've only beaten one side in the top eight. We're playing free metal, and we're playing a side that's in good touch, good form, has got a good record on that ground, and uh, is challenging the top four. So therefore, and we're challenging for the top eight. So it, it's, it should be a good game of footy, and we, we are looking forward to the contest. I don't think there's going to be too many sides, in all honesty, going to, going to kick big scores against them. They play a very disciplined game. Um, you've got to make the most of your opportunities. Some do, some, some don't, and I think half of that's referred pressure, which they are able to do very, very well. It's, it's our ability to hold our nerve. It's our ability to um, um, do what we do well and limit what they do well. No, you shouldn't give the ball up anyway. So. You know, each, each side will have their own tactics against every individual, every, every team. Uh, our tactics from last week varied from the week against um, North Melbourne. So our tactics again will shuffle because we're playing a different team, different individuals, different strengths, um, different uh, DNA. So, uh, you know, that's just like sitting in the heat here and finding a better game plan because it, it will shuffle around and each player will have a different role to play. It might be similar, but it's got to be shuffled. Well, he's clearly the biggest player in the competition, has been for a number of years, and that he's had some dominating performances and he's had some performances where he's been beaten. And then there's been performances where he's been... Um, uh, they've gone 50-50. And we're not saying we want to come away from this 50-50, but we've just got to be better at ground level. If he gets his hands to it, we've, th that's, that's one part of it. The next phase of it has to be where it lands. And we've just got to be very good at it. Oh, no, we don't want to underestimate Matthew's uh, ability to win the football. Cruz has been playing very, very well. And uh, he's done pretty well against him in the past, so we've got no reason to be all defensive in that, that area. Oh, I admire all coaches. I just think they've all got their own strengths. Um, I think the longer you're in the game, that, that's the test. I think it'd be fair to say for a very old... Um, a uh, late and great coach of mine said to me in early days when I was coaching, uh, honeymoon, particularly if you coach your own, your own side where you've come from, which I haven't, 
but he said of players that coach um, out of football and they leave it and they come back to that same club, you've got a honeymoon of, of two or three years. Uh, it's less when you when you coach a club from from uh, from start that is new to you. But if you last in this game more than five or six years and you're still regarded with your tactics as being good, then you've got to sit up and, and watch these, these coaches. And uh, he's been in the game long enough and successful enough to take very much particular notice of the way his sides go about them. Generally, over a period of time, sides emulate the coach's demeanour, his, his ways and that sort of stuff. He hasn't been there long enough for that, but they, they were like that at St Kilda, and I dare say over a period of time they will be like that at, at, at Fremantle. Hayden Valentine's back. Do you sort of coach your players and tell them how to play in your life? You can often suck people in. No. They read the news, like, well, they probably don't read the news. Um, they, they see him enough. What sort of tactics do you think those are, but what do you say? The what? way he plays? He plays as a forward pocket to kick goals. I don't have any exception to Hayden Bellantone. I think it's just part and parcel of the game. No, no, I, I think the, the, I think the improvements come from around about round three, round four. We, we, we settled in on a side early in the season on back based on our NAB Cup performances and, and, and a style. That style has, has shifted or shuffled and the player group have swung around from uh, being more versatile. And I, and I think that we've, we've improved gradually from those early days. And let's, let's not think that wins are all, or automatically give you a, a thing of improvement. It's, it's the general improvement. It's how to handle a loss. It's how to handle top sides. Have you made some impact on those sides? And I, and I th generally believe that we are a far better side than what we were at round two, round three. This hasn't come along two weeks ago and we've gone and we've spiked. I think what we've done is had a gradual increase over over those weeks I spoke about. And it, and it might well be, uh, what are we, round, uh, so we've played 17 games, so probably 14 games. I know it sounds, uh, sounds extreme, but I, I think we've improved over those 14 games on a gradual basis. We had one bad hiccup, and I reckon, I, know, I personally think I know the reason for it, and I'm not going to discuss it here, but I think we, um, there was certain issues that coming off the back of the previous week, and we had a, had a bad one, and we, we paid for it dearly on the scoreboard. But from, uh, from a point of view of consistency, I think we've just got gradually better each time. It may be in percent, small percentages. I don't think we've gone any 10% or 15% on any one week, but I reckon you can, you can almost say that we've gone half a percent or percent on certain guys, which has lifted us up in, in a uh, category that, that's heading in the right direction. We're trained to work on one opponent. Their private thoughts are their private thoughts. I don't get caught up in that. Um, his leadership has been terrific. His form early in the season was very patchy, but in the last five weeks it's been very, very good. Last four or five weeks. Unfortunately now he's got to wear two weeks.